Hi, this is June with Team Molten Miguel, and I'm here with Espen Larsen from Denmark, Kingdom of Denmark, and we're so honored to have him on our video cam because your official title is? I'm the Minister of Agriculture and Environment in Denmark. Okay, so tell us a little bit about this MOU signing event and what you're most excited about. Well, uh, we have signed an MOU with the Governor of California uh, to uh, extend uh, cooperation between Denmark and California when it comes to uh, water and challenges with water, especially uh, groundwater mapping, wastewater treatment, uh, also innovation in the water sector. And as everyone knows, uh, California has uh, really challenges uh, to both to face at the present but also in the future due to scarcity. Uh, due to snow problems and so forth, but also in the piping and the tooling uh, that runs in the whole water sector. And we have in Denmark worked very thoroughly with this uh, agenda for many, many years. Water is one of our resources, natural resources. We drink water directly from the tap that hasn't been treated at all. So in that sense, uh, we have a lot to offer, but we also have a lot to learn for the cooperation with the Californian authorities and the companies here. So we look at it as a really win-win, uh, that we get access to uh, an extremely exciting uh, hemisphere here in California, a big economy, the sixth largest in the world, uh, very, very inspiring research facilities around uh, the universities here, uh, and also a very, very clear sense of protecting environment, uh, climate change and so forth, which we share uh, the uh, the purposes about also in Denmark. So so that's why we have been making an MOU with the California government. And you've also recently had some water agencies and association and state agency visit your country. And what was that like? Well, it's always interesting to be able to tell how we try to manage our system, how we on a government to government scale can work with um, regulation, with the uh, lawmaking, uh, also cooperations between the private pu public partnerships. That's uh, a real, uh, it's a real thing we do in Denmark very often. Uh, so in that sense, showing and trying to showcase uh, to Americans uh, from in this uh, example from California on how we build our systems. That's always interesting. And how often do you come out to California? Well, I have been in the U.S. many, many times, and I have been in California also a lot of times. I have uh, friends here, good oh. friends, through many, many years. My first visit was here in 1995, okay. so I have seen the development on uh, first hand. So I like very much coming in the whole of U.S., but especially here in California. Have you been to Orange County? I have been in Orange County. I have been in Chico. I have been... Yeah, it's so many places here in, in California. Well, we got some really great stories in Orange County. A lot of our neighboring agencies, our own stories. So we'd love to invite you down Thank next you. time you're in the area so we can have you meet all the people because there's a lot of theme about friendship and yeah. relationship. So can you talk a little bit about your views on that personal relationship and what that means to this global issue that we're dealing with? Well, when you uh, do collaboration cross borders and cross culture, it's very important to have a first-hand impression on the human scale. And uh, I think we have a lot in common between Americans and Danes. There's, there are also a lot of differences in our way of doing things. But uh, having the personal touch, the personal meeting, the encounter, is, is very, very necessary to have a trustworthy cooperation where you both show your weaknesses in your system but also are able to show what is really going well without uh, having a sense of bragging. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, the way of working together is very important also on the personal level. Well, I really appreciate your time. So say bye to everybody. Bye-bye.